Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord today. These scriptures that I read, is, folks, it's not my words. These are Jesus Christ's own words. Words of which we to live by and accept. Receive these words. Accept these words. Live by these words. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers, being tender-hearted and courteous, not returning evil for evil, or reviling for reviling. But on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Now that's that's a those are three powerful words right there. Inherit a blessing. Hmm. God wants to give you a blessing today, not tomorrow, the next day. Today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of turnaround. Today can be the most important day you'll ever see or hear. And today as you hear the word of God being spoken and poured out, my prayer is the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon you today that you would see the compassion in these preachers because we're here for one thing and one thing only and that's to show and obey Jesus Christ and show the compassion of Jesus Christ. We don't only want you to hear the love that we have for you, we want you to be able to see, see that we're not different. We're not just the same everyday preacher that gets up and preaches the Word of God. We want to show you the way to God, the way of God. Let us show you that we can love and be merciful and not judgmental. There's enough, enough judgment in the world already. There's enough troubled times in the world already. Today, Jesus is not trouble. He can take on all your burdens, all your hurts, all of your fears. He can take those upon himself and teach you a different way. Teach you a way of Jesus Christ. Teach you to follow him. To love him. And then he will teach you how to love others. Today, anyone here that needs a prayer, needs anything from God, anything, no matter what it is, God is able, willing, to take those, those trials and troubles that you have in your life and turn those around. Turn it for good and not evil. Anyone that can hear the sound of my voice right now, won't you come? Won't you let us pray for you? As I said at the beginning, this is an invitation. This is a Jesus Christ, Spirit-filled invitation for you. Jesus said, follow me. Today I'm not asking you to follow me. None of these preachers are asking you to follow us. We're asking you to follow Jesus Christ. But we can pray for you and direct you how to know Jesus Christ and know Him better. Amen. Knowing with an understanding knowledge. The world perishes right now for the lack of knowledge. Well, God doesn't want you to be ignorant, brother. Know ye this. 
There is a day coming, a judgment day coming. There is a judgment coming to the world. Folks, Jesus Christ is coming back. Whether you believe that or not, does it, does it make it not true? He's coming back whether you believe it, whether you accept it or not. Jesus is coming back. And my wish is that every person that does not know Jesus Christ and ready to meet him would right now come, repent, each one of you, every one of you, repent and be baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. This is not my words. This is God's holy word that I'm speaking to you today. All I am is a mouthpiece of the Holy One. Just his mouthpiece. And as I as I speak to you today, it, it, you know, it's not like I'm preaching to you today. God has me on an invitation today. He's had me on this invitation for so long now. God wants to invite you. He doesn't want to judge you. He's not. God will judge you in time, yes. But I need you to come just as you are. God wants you to come just as you are. Come on, talk about it. And when you leave, you won't be the same as, you, as before you came. Once you experience the power of the Holy Spirit that can touch your life. Folks, once that happens, once you experience that holy touch of Jesus Christ, you're never the same after that. Hallelujah. You won't think the same. You won't love the same. You'll be different. Something will be different about you. And everybody around you will tell that there's something different about you. And that difference is Jesus Christ. He is a difference maker. Amen. Jesus did not come to judge the world. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to, to freely come and partake of that which he wants you to, to have. Don't let this, don't let Satan kill, steal, and destroy you. It's time to, to say no to Satan now. Now's your day to say no. You're not going to lie to me and deceive me any longer. You're not going to kill and steal and, and take away my happiness, take away my joy. You can't have those things because the blood of Jesus is against that. And Jesus wants you to know that today. The blood is everything. That blood he shed, folks, was for you, for, it, for all of us, all of us. God wants you to experience that love, what, what type of love that is, that God would give the most holy thing that he had, his only son. Jesus bore your sins. He took the sins of the world and he died on that cross that you may have hope that there may be a way out. But that door to the way out is slowly closing. Actually, I think it's quickly closing. Because I can feel in my spirit, and I have for several years, that, that God is getting ready to do something. Very, very special, very big, on a very large scale. And I don't want you to be left out. I want you to experience everything that yes, Jesus Lord. Christ has for you. People, please know that I preach this message of love and mercy and long suffering. Won't you come today? I know that 
that everybody has a need for something in their life today. I, you know, I have a need myself. There's not anybody here that does not have a need. So put away that pride. Put away that it's all about me attitude because it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Jesus Christ and that's the one that I'm here today to introduce you to. Folks, won't you come for prayer? We'll pray no matter what it is you have a need of. Amen. We'll take it to the Father together. We'll take it to the Lord together. Whatever you pray for, believe it. Have that kind of faith that it would take to move God to compassion. To open up the heart of God on your behalf. Because God has a heart for you. God wants to open up his blessings upon you and fill you with his spirit. That life-changing, life-changing spirit that can touch only the way God can. Maybe there's some here today that's suffering with uh, drugs or alcohol. Maybe it's depression and anxiety. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, you don't have to have those things. Jesus can and will deliver you from that which Satan tries to steal and destroy. Satan tries to get you to where you feel like you're nothing. You're unimportant. Your life doesn't matter. But folks, your life does matter. Amen. It does matter. Your life matters. It matters to me or I wouldn't be out here. And it matters to Jesus Christ. Taste and see that the Lord is not good. He has promises. Folks, he, Jesus has promises. He's made you promises. And he's ready to fulfill those promises in your life. Make that first step. Make that first step. There's three ministers out here today. Three preachers of the gospel. Three powerful anointed men of God that is here ready to pray. To pray with you. To do whatever is necessary in your behalf. Rest assured you will not be judged here. That is not our job to judge. We leave that up to, to, to Jesus Christ in that day. That's not my job. God, God gives me the job of, of speaking his love and speaking his words. His words of wisdom, knowledge, compassion, long-suffering, love instead of bitterness. So I know that there's someone here today that has a need and whatever that need is, I want to make you this promise and this is a promise. You want a 100% money back guarantee? Here it is. Anyone who would come to the Lord right now would not be turned away. The Lord promises to touch you he promises to save you. He promises to turn you around. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm inviting you to come. My invitation is about over. I'm getting ready to, to just let another brother take over where I leave off. But today, I, I'm giving you this invitation. I... I want to extend this invitation uh, several times, many times. 
Folks, don't turn that ear. Don't turn that ear away from God. God wants to show you mercy. Won't you come? Right now, won't you come? Won't you, won't you see that God has good for you and not evil for you? Amen. In the name of Jesus. That's my holy prayer, folks. That's my prayer for you is that someone would hear the gospel, heed to the gospel, heed to that word of God, heed to that invitation, accept that invitation, accept that godly invitation that God wants to extend to you today. It's a gift, folks, it's a gift. Won't you come right now in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, he who can hear the sound of my voice, let him come. Let him come. Man, woman, or child, let him come. Jesus said, follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just give God praises because God is deserving of, his pra of your praise. God richly bless you and keep you. And I pray that somewhere along the line today that God would speak to each and every one of your hearts. And he would melt that heart, melt that hard heart. And that you would accept Jesus Christ today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, we love you today. We love you today. Thank you for this blessed day. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.